பிரணாம் ஃப்ரம் விஜய் நீலகண்டன் த இந்தியன் கோப்ரா நாச்சா நாச்சா ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் ஸ்பெக்டக்கல் டு கோப்ரா இஸ் லார்ஜ் ஹைலி வெனமஸ் ஸ்னேக் அண்ட் இஸ் அ மெம்பர் ஆஃப் த பிக் ஃபோர் ஸ்பீஷிஸ் தட் இன்ஃப்ளிக் த மோஸ்ட் ஸ்னேக் பைட்ஸ் ஆன் ஹியூமன்ஸ் இன் இந்தியா they have a pattern on the back of their hoods that resembles eye glasses hence their common name spectacled cobra indian cobra is revered in indian mythology and culture the indian cobra is greatly respected and feared and even has its own place in hindu mythology as a powerful deity Indian spectacled cobra varies tremendously in color and pattern throughout their range. It is now protected in India under the Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. The Indian cobra is a moderately sized, heavy-bodied species. The eyes are medium in size and the pupils are round. The majority of adult specimens range from 1 to 1.5 meters. That means around 3.5 to 4.5 feet in length. This cobra can easily be identified by its relatively large and quite impressive hood which it expands when threatened. They will adopt their defensive posture. they rise up the front third of their bodies and spread out their hood by expanding the flexible ribs in their necks the hood filled with muscles and ribs acts as a warning to the predators that the snake is a powerful foe when threatened cobras also hiss loudly while raising the front third of their bodies As I mentioned to you, they spread their necks in an effort to appear larger. The Indian spectacled cobra celebrity status comes from its popularity among snake charmers. The cobra's dramatic threat posture makes for a unique spectacle as it appears to sway to the tune of a snake charmer's flute. The cobra is deaf to the snake charmer's pipe but follows the visual cue of the moving pipe and it can sense the ground vibrations from the snake charmer's tapping. I would say this is a controversial practice as snakes are taken from the wild, defanged, devenomed and kept in an unnatural environment simply for human entertainment while these cobras might appear to sway to the music as i mentioned to you they are actually deaf their swaying is simply in response to the motions of the charmer's flute and the vibrations they can sense from them tapping their feet on the ground the indian cobra inhibits a wide range of habitats throughout its geographical range it can be found in dense or open forest plains agricultural lands mainly rice paddy fields and wheat crops rocky terrain wetlands and it can even be found in heavily populated urban areas such as villages and city outskirts this species is absent from true desert regions the indian cobra is often found in the vicinity of water 
preferred hiding locations are holes of embankments, tree hollows, termite mounds, rock piles, and small mammal dens. There are numerous myths about cobras in India, including the idea that they mate with rat snakes. Cobras are believed to mate with rat snakes, but they in fact mate with only their own species, because never a venomous and non-venomous snake can mate. Indian cobras are oviparous and lay their eggs. The female snake usually lays between 10 to 30 eggs in rat holes or termite mounds and eggs hatch around 45 to 70 days later. The hatchlings measure between 20 to 30 centimeters in length. And please note, the hatchlings are independent from birth and have fully functional venom glands. The short fangs at the front of the mouth have an enclosed groove which delivers the venom. Cobra venom normally contains neurotoxins. That is, it acts against the nervous system of the prey. The main food sources for Indian cobras include lizards, rodents, frogs, though they will also eat birds and birds' eggs. Because cobras hunt around dawn and dusk, they are adapted to rely on their sense of smell rather than sight when hunting. By flicking their tongues in and out, the snake's forked tongue effectively pulls scent particles into his mouth where a special organ interprets the information. By flicking his tongue in and out, he can follow the scent trail of his prey. Once he is tracked, the venomous snake injects their prey with venom and kill the prey and wait until it becomes paralyzed or dies. The cobra relies on his independent jaw bones, which all snakes have, in order to swallow his meals whole. Although these timid snakes shy away from human contact, they frequently enter homes in search of food. Cobras can be found in human modified habitats like agricultural lands, including wheat crops, as I mentioned earlier, and even in heavily populated urban areas. Because it hunts rodents that live around people, it is often encountered by accident and many people die each year due to cobra bite. Bites, particularly from larger species, can be fatal to human beings depending on the amount of venom injected. Neurotoxins mainly affect breathing. The local symptoms include swelling in the bite area and other general symptoms include weak limbs, eyelid drooping, and extreme salivation accompanied by vomiting and sweating. The venom acts on the synaptic gaps of the nerves, thereby paralyzing the muscles, and in the most severe bites, it can lead to respiratory failure or even cardiac arrest, and ultimately to death. And the lifespan of Indian spectacled cobra is around 15 to 20 years. Indian cobras are important in the ecosystem as they help to maintain the balance of prey species and control agricultural pests such as rats and mice. Their venom has been used in pain-killing medications and used in effective anti-cancer treatments. The Indian cobra eats rats and mice that carry disease. As per the WHO, around 30 35% of human disease occur from the waste or the other aspects of rats. So to control the rats and mice, we need snakes like Indian cobra. We have a lot of misconceptions about these enigmatic creatures. They have been unnecessarily labeled with bad reputation due to misconceptions arising from superstitious and religious dogmas. 
and majority of these opinions are formed out of fear and sheer ignorance snakes have been misunderstood for too long and the role in nature is too little appreciated